As an early Christmas gift, I got a Parrot AR drone. It's a quadrocopter that is controlled with an iOS device like an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch using uh, the free flight application which can be downloaded from the App Store. For those who don't know, a quadrocopter is basically a helicopter but it has four rotor blades to generate lift and motion by varying the speed of the rotor blade. It's actually made by Parrot who are known for Bluetooth devices so it's kind of really odd to see them make toy aircrafts like this. The Air Drone is basically a embedded PC with a ARM9 processor. It's, it has about 128 megabytes of RAM, it's got Wi-Fi and it runs Linux. It creates an ad hoc Wi-Fi network that you connect to with your iPhone. Right now you can only control the device with a, an iPad or an iPhone but Android devices and PCs even maybe on a laptop or something can be used to control the uh, AR drone. The hull itself is actually made of uh, EPP foam. EPP foam is a very flexible kind of foam that can absorb a lot of energy without denting and breaking so it's a lot more durable than the other types of foam that you might see. Inside the box there's the AR drone of course. It also has an alternate body. So this alternate body doesn't actually have blade guards or anything so if you're flying it outdoors it's great for that whereas if you're flying indoors you might want to put the body that has the blade guard. It comes with a 1000 milliamp lithium polymer 3 cell 11.1 .1 volt battery that has a discharge rate of 10 C. It also comes with a lipo charger to charge the battery and it comes with a power adapter with various plugs for different countries. The battery itself is pretty standard I guess you know it's a 3 cell 11.1 .1 volt it's 10 C however it uses a mini Tamiya plug which is not really common so you can't just go out and buy a battery and plug it to it. I so I made an adapter with the mini Tamiya plug that came off the battery and soldered it to a Dean's plug. Basically you chop off the stock battery connector and use it to create uh, an adapter. The stock batteries are about $30 um, however you can buy 800 to 1000 milliamp batteries for around $10. I have a bunch of these 1500 milliamp batteries that are, that are the exact same size as the stock battery and they fit perfectly inside the AR drone. The motors that powers this uh, aircraft is actually brushless. It uh, runs at a max of 35,000 RPMs and the rotor blades are fixed pitch. The AR drone has two onboard cameras. One is to view what is directly in front of it and the other is to view what is below it. And you can switch uh, which one you want to view by tapping the screen on the iPhone. The bottom camera actually has a secondary job which is to monitor the ground and sense that if it's moving and then also auto correct itself by moving it back. The two speaker like devices that you see on the bottom of the aircraft is actually ultrasound altimeters. They're used for vertical stabilization um, for hovering but only up to six meters. The AR drone actually has a lot of uh, intelligence built in. It's it like for example, it has it senses that um, if a blade is jamming, and if it is, it turns itself off to avoid damage. Or it can also detect if the battery is low, and if it is, it'll uh, land safely. And uh, it can also sense if uh, if if it's tilted at an angle that's too steep, so it'll also shut off. So it has a lot of smarts built into it that helps uh, prevent itself from getting damaged. So like I mentioned before, you control the device with an iPhone or an iPad. Control it with the accelerometers or using uh, visual joysticks on the iPhone itself. So coming from a so or coming from a RC helicopter background, I can tell you that the device operates in mode three in terms of the controls. Most people who fly uh, planes and helicopters in North America will use the transmitter that is mode two. So the throttle and the yaw is actually on the left left side. So throttle is this. This controls the um, the height of the aircraft, and the yaw controls the the nose of the aircraft like that. And on the right side, this controls the pitch and roll. So when you move it forward like this or backward like that, that controls the pitch and and the roll. The default controls on the AR drone is actually reversed. So throttle and yaw is actually on the right hand side and the pitch and roll is on the left hand side. For someone who's never flown a RC helicopter before, it isn't too bad. But for someone who has and who's used to a mode 2 transmitter, it can get quite annoying. So luckily there's a way to change that in the settings. 
yeah, there's a setting called left-handed and you toggle that to on and that will flip the uh, controls so that it's mode 2. The AR drone is actually quite impressive from a technical perspective and it's got a lot of technology built into it. However, you know, you still can't use a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter like the DX6i, but I can live with that because it's a really fun little toy to play with.